That's okay. Um, yeah, that, that incident you were talking to. Yeah, and then, um, of course, then, you know, we we saw that it was going to be tied into turn one. Um, and Lewis, of course, also realised that. So after the white line, he immediately moved to the left on the braking. So I already had to move on to the green side of the track, next to the track. But then, nevertheless, I thought we were going to have a nice fight into turn one, through turn two. But as soon as I was next to him, uh, he just kept on squeezing me more and more to the left. And I, I still thought, you know, we'll, we'll just have enough space to make it into turn two. But unfortunately, uh, he ran me a bit too much out of road. So then I clipped uh, the sausage curb and, and that's why we, we touched. Have you had a chance to chat to him or will you chat no, to him? No, I mean, in, in that heat of the moment, it's better to just walk off and everyone just to calm down. Um, and um, yeah, I'm sure uh, we'll, uh, we'll talk about it. Firstly, are you okay? Yeah, a little bit stiff, but my neck's a bit, took a bit of a head, uh, whack on the head. I'm sorry. Um, it looked like you gave him space, heading into that corner. You'd fought really well to put yourself in it at that point. You came out, looked like you got ahead. Talk me through what happened then. Yeah, well, we'd, we're obviously just ahead, we had a bit of a slow stop, but came out, breaking into turn one, I, I made sure I left a car's whip on the outside, and um, I was ahead going into the into the corner and next thing you know um, I guess Max went over the second curb or something like that he obviously knew at that point he was going to make the corner and he drove into me so uh, and next thing you know he's just on top of me so definitely unfortunate and uh, we'll speak to the stewards after this I'm sure did you think for one point you might be able to get the car out is that why you stayed and all you're not feeling great I just, inside um, I wasn't feeling great, but I was just hopeful to get the car going, but the car was destroyed, so it wouldn't have made any difference anyways, but, um, yeah. I know you're going to go and talk to Max at the stewards now, but where do you guys go from here? Um, I don't know. I don't know, really. <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is the Casual Fan. So, Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton collide for the second time this season. And this time around, it's both Hamilton and Verstappen out of the race because of the attempted overtake by Max Verstappen going horribly wrong at turn one. Now, there are so many experts and pundits who have given their verdicts on the incident. Although the most laughable that I found was what Damon Hill had to say. The former world champion said that Max Verstappen crashed intentionally into Hamilton because the Mercedes was the fast car this weekend and would have won the race. Was his observation correct or not? I'll... Well, I'll let you guys decide that. Drop in your comments if you feel what Max did was intentional. Anyway, coming back to the topic, as I was saying, many experts and pundits have given their views on this and have either termed it a racing incident or put a partial blame on either of the two drivers. In this video, I'll give my views on the incident and explain why I feel this rivalry is just getting started between these two. In real time, when I had seen the incident, it felt like a scenario where Max tried to make the move around the outside, but when Lewis closed the door at turn two, the two cars came together. In many ways, Martin Brundle also had a similar view of the incident on the live broadcast where he said that Max didn't do anything wrong in that moment. It was essentially a racing incident between two very aggressive drivers. The bigger question though was whether Lewis Hamilton or Max Verstappen would have been this aggressive if there was any driver other than the two involved. The answer well, the answer is no to that question. Lewis would have not been this aggressive in turn two if there was any other driver but Max Verstappen. Same is the case with Max. He was already furious with the delayed pit stop and arguably he jumped at the opportunity of keeping Lewis behind him in the race. In the end, even though the stewards in their traditionally cryptic post-race communication gave Max a three-place grid drop, I feel both had the chance to avoid the crash, but neither are in that mental space right now to give even an inch to the other driver.
Okay, so now since we have that out of the way, I guess the other important question that we have to answer after the Italian Grand Prix is which of the two parties would be the happier one after all is said and done? And I think this is where frustration would lie inside the Lewis Hamilton camp. They had the car capable of winning the race. They had a car capable of winning the sprint race and they had a decent buffer to Red Bull in terms of pace. However, Lewis would lose the pole position to Bottas on Friday. He would then go on to lose positions at the start of the sprint race while Max would finish second and gain two more points. After that, we all saw what happened in the race as Hamilton and Verstappen would both score no points on Sunday. On a weekend where Hamilton should have potentially scored 29 points, he came away with zero and even saw Max Verstappen extend his championship lead to five points. This was not how Hamilton and team would have hoped the weekend would transpire. And maybe this is why an argument could even be made about whether Hamilton should not have been as aggressive as he was during the incident with Max. In the end, when the weekend is over, Hamilton has not maximized what was a potential trump card of a weekend for him. It had all the potential to be a race where he could have taken back the lead in the championship. But as it turns out, he hasn't done that. And this could be one of those weekends which could come back to bite him if the championship is decided by the slimmest of margins. Max, on the other hand, even though he has picked up a three-place penalty for Russia, he would still be relatively happy with the final result in a weekend where he was driving a car that was at least a couple of tenths per lap slower than the Mercedes. Okay, now having covered who was at fault and who gained the most from the crash, arguably the most important aspect that I feel needs to be talked about is the aftermath and the future of this title battle. This is the second time that both Hamilton and Verstappen have had a massive collision this season. And if I am a betting man, I would not be betting against these two coming together yet again this season. Max Verstappen's reaction after the clash was a clear indication, if any was needed, that the gloves were well and truly off in the title battle. And it did also reveal that the Red Bull driver had not forgotten what had happened at Silverstone. Now let's be honest about one thing. The title battle is going to go down as one of the best title fights in the history of Formula 1 because of the quality of racing and the performance we've seen both the drivers deliver throughout the year. At the same time though, it is dangerously close to becoming a very dirty rivalry between the two. Something that could only be rivaled by what Ayrton Senna and Alan Prost had in the late 1980s. And we all know that didn't end well. At this point in time, do I really think this was the last time these two amazing drivers crashed on the track? No, I don't think so. We are going to see these two get involved yet again in the coming races. Let's just hope they don't take it too far and end up risking each other's safety in the process. So these are my views. What do you guys think? Is this the last time we have seen Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen get together on a racetrack or this is just a beginning? Do let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching and see you next time.